Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is amazing. Guess what? I've got a little bit of a package here that I am super excited about. You guys know that I am extremely into Boega. That is the cat eye snakes, the mangroves and stuff like that. And I've been getting a bunch of them recently. Well, in this box, there's a new species I've never worked with and I am stoked to open it. And of course, my love for the cat eye snakes or the Boega dendrophilia mangroves have been all my life. They have just been sun such stunning animals when I was young and actually worked at a pet shop. Believe it or not, these used to come in all the time. And wildly enough, the pet shop used to carry these. I know it's crazy, but they were like $30, $40. I mean, they were relatively cheap. You can see they don't have the best temperament all the time. You can certainly see that. Who doggy, I tell you, oh, it's okay, buddy. Whoop, 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 gotta just be a little careful. Again, I've been envenomated by these guys a couple times. Really not that bad. Some people have some pretty good reactions to them. Me, personally, I just get a little bit of a headache. No big deal, to be totally honest with you. But nevertheless, this is actually the Melanoda, which is just a little bit of the banding actually stops at the very top, right? It doesn't go all the way around. The Dendrophilia Dendrophilia would actually have the banding all the way through. Other than that, they look very similar. And these guys come from Southeast Asia. This particular ones are an Indonesian animal and I tell you what that, that camera lens has seen better days there's no doubt about that who doggy whoa slow down there little Nelly I tell you what but what absolutely gorgeous animals and again we've been producing the melanota here for last whoo we've been producing the melanota for the last maybe five years or so so we have a pretty big group of them and this is one of our founder stock females and I tell you she's cranky today Whoo, doggy, yeah, I tell you what. We're gonna go ahead and get her back in her enclosure and uh, move on to some other absolutely amazing cat eye snakes. Then of course, this is actually the Dendrophilia Dendrophilia, but this is a caramel albino. So instead of that black and yellow, it's kind of a caramel colored, right? That kind of toffee colored animal, which is a recessive mutation. And I've had this guy for a little more than a month or so, and uh, it still hasn't fed, whoo. Took a little pop shot at me there. You got a little bit of uh, spice in you, don't you, little buddy? But nevertheless, the dendrophilia dendrophilia will have the bands that are all the way across. And those are the real true mangrove snakes, but absolutely wonderful snakes. And I love this particular mutation. It's really cool. So hopefully we can get this guy eating because really what happens is in the wild, these guys are eating lizards as babies. So we've tried some lizard scents. Who? calm down, little monkey. You're okay. So we tried some lizard scents, but still no go. So we're still assist feeding this one, which is completely fine. And hopefully we'll get it going here in the next little bit because I tell you what, I love this animal and I really want to get it go and again the cat eyed snakes and those boegas I tell you what they are absolutely stunning and this guy is going to be great when he gets bigger and hopefully we can produce some of these that would be absolutely spectacular and this guy is absolutely incredible of course this isn't a mangrove snake but it is a boega or a cat eyed snake but this is the sienna and it's absolutely amazing look at that green head and as these guys get older they actually turn predominantly green but when they're babies they're actually orange body and green head absolutely wonderful one of the coolest snakes I've ever seen to be totally honest with you that head and just the cryptic nature of it with that cool patterning and kind of that really big head compared to the body what amazing animals and again I love these guys to death they're, they're definitely one of my favorite boyega to be honest with you and we only have a little male here so I definitely need another one of these guys and I've just been buying a bunch of the boyega it doesn't matter what sex they are just because I want to have them and I want to add them to the collection because I think they're really cool and this will definitely be a really cool display in 3.02. I could see a really heavily foliage cage with lots of greenery with this is going to be climbing up in the trees and it's just going to look so amazing with that big head and those big eyes. Really cool. Again, not a mangrove snake, but still a cat-eyed boega. And then of course, these are the Gemma Cincta or Salawasi mangroves. Now, basically what happens with these guys is they have that really heavily banding going on and it's really amazing. These actually are super cool as babies, but they turn jet black when they get older. I mean, so all of that pattern kind of goes away. And the fact is, is the animal that we're about to unbox is kind of similar to this, which is going to be pretty cool. And the thing that's cool about it is that they don't turn jet black. So that heavy banding actually stays. That's why I'm so excited about them. And there's a handful of other Boega that I'd really like to get as well. I mean, I want to just keep adding because they're just kind of the coolest genus out there. I mean, they're just so amazing. Again, with those big heads and the cat eyes and, and the diversity of colors is really amazing with these guys. 
Gemma Sinktas are really probably one of my favorites, to be honest with you as well. I know I say that about every one, but the fact is, I mean, just look at the banding and the contrast on that animal. Like I said, it's a little bit of a bummer that they turn jet black when they get older, but still, that jet black mangrove is pretty awesome as well. So I love them as babies, and I love them as adults, which is pretty cool. And again, the one that we're about to unbox is similar to this. So what do you say we head over there and unbox this new little monkey? All right, guys, you know that it is time. It's the merch drop time. That's right, you guys, because you were so crazy about Bella merch and it was out for so many years, we decided to bring it back. That's right, just for a limited time, you get your Bella Bananas hoodie if you like. But you know, it's a little bit warm in here right now. I tell you what. This is a lot better. That's right, you can get t-shirts in the yellow bananas color. If you want to get blue, you got about five or six different colors if you want. If you don't want a shirt and you just want something else, you can get yourself a cup and have a little bit of Morning Joe, you know what I mean? It really works out well, but you know what? I have something else too. That's right, the coloring book. It's been uh, a huge, huge success, so I hope that you guys enjoy it. I mean, listen guys, I am not kidding you. There is so many cool illustrations in here you guys call. Just take a look at this. This one is at thereptarium.com. The link is gonna be in the description. The Bella merch is also gonna be a link in the description. Again, this is for a limited time. Once this runs out, we're gonna go hopefully onto volume two. So go ahead and get your merch and your coloring book now. Just some context, I have a friend, Lindsay, that lives in Iowa that actually had the snake as a pet and she gifted it to me and I am super excited about it. Look, as a matter of fact, it's so nice. It even had a thermometer on it uh, to tell what the snake is, like I'll show you right here. This thermometer goes into this actual box right here so that she could tell it. Oh my gosh, the snake is so gorgeous. Oh, ah, oh my God. It is so ridiculous. You know, I showed you guys the Gemma Sincta right now. The thing with those, those Salawasis, is the fact that when they get bigger, they're really pure black, right? So they have those really heavy bands, but as they get bigger, they actually don't have them. Well, this is actually a Boega Dendrophilia Multisincta, and it actually keeps these bands like this, and it happens to be a very tame one as well. Un Believable. Now these they call these the Palawan Gold Ring Cat Eyed Snake. And you can see that is ridiculous. I mean, look at that. I love the mangrove snakes. We talk about that black and yellow kind of contrast. And the fact that these guys keep that yellow banding is absolutely ridiculous. Again, the Gemma Sincta are so cool because they're heavily banded like this. And they even have that red kind of coming through. But then when they get bigger, they turn jet black, which again is very cool. Don't get me wrong. A glossy jet black cat eye snake is amazing. But the fact that this one keeps that rings makes it even more interesting to me and it's an absolute ripper again a mildly venomous snake but this one is super super docile Lindsay told me that she like handles it all the time and she loved this animal so much so it's really an honor for me to be able to take care of this animal and uh, I am super stoked because I've never actually handled a multi -sincta. I've never even seen one to be totally honest with you and I know that they're pretty rare so this is a little boy here so I'm on the look for a female it's gonna be really difficult to get but I want to get that and then the last boy I really want to get is the dendrophilia which is similar to this heavily banded but almost looks like bluish look to them so they're absolutely amazing really a polymorphic type of an animal I mean with all of the cat eye snakes there's all kinds of stuff from the sienna that are kind of green and orange all the way to the gemma cincta that have the heavy banding but turn black to the course the melanota that has less yellow bands uh, and then have uh, basically a break on the top and then the dendrophilia dendrophilia would have the bands like this but just not as much so absolutely wonderful animal definitely love to climb a boreal animals and stuff like that but this is amazing i hope that one day i can find a female or one of these guys and that we could actually produce them because that would be an absolutely pleasure so what we're going to do is we're going to set up an enclosure for this one this one's going to be over at the reptarium because it's just too beautiful not to show up will we pull it out that's a little bit tough because even though you can see how absolutely tame it is compared to some of my other mangroves that's for sure but the fact is it still does have a little bit of venom we don't want to take any chance but I have a feeling we'll be pulling it out probably on tours and maybe with certain people and stuff like that because this thing is too cool not to share. But uh, let's go ahead and get it into its new enclosure. So Lori's all mad at me because of the coloring book sold out of our first run and now she's all mad because people are getting upset that they're not here yet. But our next, our next run's gonna be here any day. So for anyone that ordered the coloring book, it's gonna be fine. But now why are you mad at me about this? You keep yelling at me because the coloring book isn't here. Because they need to be here, like last week. Well, they're going to be here this week. <laughs> they better be. <laughs> well, I'm going to... So, should I stop selling coloring books? 
No. <laughs> we need to start shipping them, so yeah. I need them so we can ship. Okay, well, the coloring books are gonna be here next, in, in like two days. Two days from now. Are you gonna stop being mean to me? Maybe. Why? Are you gonna stop doing things to make me angry? I didn't, because people bought all of our first run of coloring books, that wasn't me trying to make you angry. <laughs> It was awesome. Thank you guys for buying them, as a matter of fact. But it's not me. Why do you make it sound like it's my fault? Because you make it. You don't have to field the angry emails and phone calls. <laughs> well, no one can be that angry because it's just a couple days for their coloring book, is it? All right. Well, if you're angry, I guess it's my fault. So I apologize <laughs> that we sold out of coloring books. They're going to be here any day, I promise. And then Lori will be nice to me again. So do me a favor. Send Lori nice emails from now on, okay? Because it's very it's very damaging to my mental health. So this is the enclosure that we set up right here. And Lindsay actually brought this little thing here. It's like a little home for him that I guess he was comfortable in. So we figured we'd just go ahead and put that in and make it part of the enclosure. We have some climbing branches in here, a bunch of areas where it can hide and feel really good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let this loose in here. And you guys know that I love when I can let an animal go into a new enclosure and just see it wander and see what it's gonna do. It's gonna be absolutely incredible. What a beautiful snake. And again, I think that the contrast with the greens and all the other colors in here it's going to make it really pop i think people are going to really love this snake a tremendous amount and like i said we'll have to be a little bit sparing probably about taking it out but there's no doubt we're going to take it out from time to time because it's just absolutely an, a ripper so wow i tell you what another species of boega another species of cat eye like i said dendrophilia divergence is probably the next one on my list but i tell you what i've got to get a female for this little monkey here because it is too cool not to breed for sure but uh it's going to be awesome just to watch this a little bit i have a feeling i'm going to be doing that a lot today just kind of walking back and looking at this cage because I am in love with this animal it is unbelievable uh wow I tell you what and it looks great in there it is they're all gone like everything we're getting is pretty much shipping out but that's like nothing just stop all right I gotta show you this crazy thing that happened okay okay what the heck was watch that? it wait watch yeah. it again Oh my gosh, what did you do to him? Okay, so I was walking out of the room with the sloth bowl. So I had both of my hands uh -huh. full. So I went like this and I closed the door. So I did this motion and I don't know what Pepper thought, but Pepper thought that I was like coming for it. So she just like, that was great. I mean, the Pepper jumped like, I mean, it was like a saltwater crocodile. I think crocodile. her nose hit the top of the Oh my God, that was, it was crazy. Yeah, was so crazy. Stop, stop making her mad. Sorry, I mean, I she should be trained better. I was just talking about those Salawasi jet black mangrove snakes. And speaking of a jet black animal, Night Fury just shed out. And oh my goodness. And you know, it's so funny. I know I show Night Fury on the vlog quite often. But the truth is, every time someone comes in and sees him in person, they're always like, wow, you just cannot capture the beauty of this animal. And literally, this is a fresh shed. And the iridescence on it is ridiculous. So again, the Salawasis are jet black. But they still don't have that unbelievable rainbow sheen that Night Fury he has this thing looks incredible especially once he just sheds out wow what a ripper so there it is what an amazing snake i am so happy to have it here at the reptarium it looks so cool what a good animal ambassador people are going to love it i hope that you guys enjoyed this if you do like unboxing here's a playlist you can hit and watch all kinds of unboxing because uh, i do get a lot of animals you could also subscribe to my podcast right up here if you don't mind over here 30,000 away from 3 million hit that subscription button turn your post notifications on have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to someone and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.